I want to refer to DPM Wong's comment yesterday, the opposition should offer concrete alternative policy ideas. We have been doing this. We offer alternative policies that differ substantially from the ideas of the PAP. For example, in slowing reserves growth to enhance livability, social justice and social mobility, and reducing BTO prices based on tweaks to the land valuation formula. The alternatives we have championed in Parliament in our manifesto are too numerous for me to mention here. I only have 20 minutes. In fact, I only have less than five minutes left. We championed an expansive acute hospital bill insurance scheme and permanently delinking BTO from resale prices long before this was adopted by the PAP government. We championed anti-discrimination legislation and redundancy insurance policies that the PAP are now considering in some form. The DPM and the PAP know this. They know it. So I have a sense of deja vu now recalling how I was debating a similar issue about what the PAP said about our housing paper in this house just a few weeks ago. Madam Deputy Speaker, let us be honest in our political debates. Honest. Not going for false but flashy sound bites that smear our opponents that the media then viralize with huge headlines. I don't want my children to grow up in a post-truth society. <laughs> 